What's up, family? Give this video a big thumbs up, but let's get into it. So NBC has took it amongst themselves to display a gender pay gap. Um, making a point that it's a gender thing for the reason why the WNBA is getting paid way less than the NBA. Um, as you guys see the display present, you got the gender pay, pay gap, rookie season salary for number one draft picks. The WNBA, you got Caitlin Clark, 76500 You got Victor Wembanyama, $12.1 million. So, family, this has been debated for the past three years. So many times, right? And I think at this point, it's pointless to try to debate a gender thing when it's not. Because I always say when it comes to the economy and the direction of it, it is not a race war. It is a class war, political-wise, because it all resorts to markets, marketing, financial things, and all of that good stuff from a business perspective, right? So resorting back to this gender, gender pay gap narrative, it is not a gender thing. It's just a business thing. And the marketing is terrible for the WNBA. They do not know how to promote their best players. Not only the business itself is bad, but the marketing is bad. And whoever the marketing director is, they need to be changed because the direct-to-consumer relation to drive more interest to the WNBA sucks. Look how they treat Kaylin Clark, in my opinion at this time, who is the face of the WNBA to me. But the WNBA has a lot of fixing to do to catch up to the NBA. On top of the NBA has way more talent than the WNBA. And there's a lot of phenomenal players in the WNBA with all due respect. I am not trying to discredit anyone. Um, they're there for a reason. But you need that next generation, like a Caitlin Clark, and the whole rookie class that just came in, like Caitlin Clarks and the Andrew Reese's and so forth. And you need these players to make the game more popular. But a change is coming, I believe. Especially Caitlin Clark getting all those fans to come to away games and changing their away games to home games. And I'm starting to enjoy the WNBA personally. I haven't really got into it much at all um, until this year. But as a newbie, I am enjoying what happen what's happening in the WNBA currently. And what's next to come, we will see um, in an optimistic way. Um, me watching the bottom seed play the top seed um, team-wise shows the change as it just grabs my attention because the interest of what the outcome will be, right? And let alone the intensity of how they rock out will have you on the edge of your seat. So the WNBA are not seeing a certain amount of revenue to cover the cost of the, the amount, to cover the cost of the amount like the NBA, to be able to pay those players that type of money. And it's not like they're saying, oh, you're a woman, you don't deserve this type, you don't deserve this amount of money, or oh, you're a woman, you're not getting this type of money. No, it never has been said. <laughs> Nothing evidently proven or factual to me to even be presented um, as evidence for that to even be stated or that to be um, st standing or stood on from the WNBA. So the NBA is just making that type of money, and the WNBA is not from uh, is not from a business perspective because when it comes to a job, you give a service, and in this case, it's entertainment for the WNBA and NBA to receive payment, right? As a, as, a, as an employee, as Kaden Clark and Victor Wembanyama, they are employees. So how are you going to cover the cost within the amount you're promising employee an employee if you don't have the funds to disperse that type of money in the first place? So with the WNBA, become when the WNBA becomes a sole proprietor and not be a partnership with the NBA, which it seems to be a partnership to me, um, they probably will get more than the NBA just based on how crazy Caitlin Clark along has been for the new wave to come. As I said, there will be um, positively changes coming in a positive way and going in the right direction for the WNBA. And it just takes time as they're moving in the right direction, as, times re as time reveals everything. And you have players like Juju Cun Cunning, Paige, and plenty more good talent to come, in which fans are eager to see them. And, of course, the self-promotion from college has been phenomenal. And like, for example, Angel Reese and Kaylin Clark, and, and Kaylin Clark being in Iowa, right, um, fan, fan base basically followed them 
all the way to the WNBA. And that's how the league and popularity grows. And it's not a gender thing. It's just a business thing. And as I would say, and as Jay-Z, an American rapper, have said, um, hip-hop rapper, uh, when men, wa- men lie, women lie, numbers don't, right? So you just have to know how business works. That's all to it. And the WNBA just have to learn to market the league better, get the endorsements. Then the players will be the recipients of the success of the WNBA league because they'll get endorsements. And then the, the WNBA players being recipients, they'll get endorsements as well. And um, due to the success of the league gaining endorsements, and then hmm, that would be that it would be, you know, everything will work out. It will play out and, is it's 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 more to come, I believe. And plus you can't leave it all to the league, right? The players with a great PR team continue to promote themselves and their brand, which is themselves, on the side while being on a national platform. Caitlin Clark mom and pops has been doing a great job promoting her, but the players have to promote themselves. They can't put it all on the league to put their put themselves out there. The NBA can only do so much for the players, for example. Just like the WNBA can only do so much. But to give you an example from the from the NBA, John Morant, who played for the Memphis Grizzlies in the NBA, for example, is an example of how he conducted himself and ruined his reputation. The NBA cannot do much for you then, and you are held accountable at the end of the day. And what come, what more visibility becomes responsibility on how you conduct yourself. And when you spread hate, and negative things that aren't good at all. You ju- you are just ruining how effective you can um, resonate with the people due to spreading negativity, right? So, for example, love, right? Love is like a circle. It, it circulates in which it supersedes hate. And hate leads to destruction. So my point I'm trying to make is how you conduct yourself and how you put yourself out there and how you display yourself to the world is a reflection of how you will B, and it would determine if you grow or not when it comes to promoting yourself and your own brand besides being in the leagues, whether it's the WNBA or the NBA. And it's extremely difficult for a league in the WNBA or the NBA um, because if your reputation is bad and you tend to tarnish it due to your awful actions, then you are deemed not workable with or not corroborate corroborative with the wrong attitude, entitlement, and it makes hard for the league to promote you, promote you just as much as it'll be hard for you to promote yourself through self-promotion um, due to your irresponsible actions, right? So let alone you being your own demise, as you, as the players will be their own little businesses as well, believe it or not, because if you don't have media training and you're not conducting yourself professionally, Action-wise, you are just downgrading um, and downgrading your value um, on how viable you can be to the league and other organizations, and let alone your own little business um, as being a player who is trying to self-promote themselves and resonate with the people and continue to be valuable and being for the people bigger than being a player, right? So you just have to move accordingly, being cordial and just – you know, be at the right time in the right places because you can be in bad environments or in the wrong place and it can destroy decades of work. So um, to make the league enjoyable, they do have to behave themselves and act accordingly as players. Um, so it could because if the players don't enjoy the players, who who going to watch the NBA? Or I should say if the fans don't enjoy the players, we're going to watch the w, the WNBA, you know, right? You know, so it's just foolishness being debated a whole lot, and it's just a business thing. As we live in a capital, capitalistic society, it's competitive markets out there when it comes to sports. And you only go as far as you strive to go. You eat what you kill. So marketing effectively to gain consumer interest within the lines of convenience being sold to the consumer because we all love that direct-to-consumer convenience, and everyone loves convenience, um, making things easier for them. But that relation right there, I feel like, will drive more consumers to buy tickets 
and that would that will start the salaries will begin you begin to be equalized due to more people getting out to the arena, you know. And that's just my opinion. And feminists here, you know, particularly talking about equal pay, I'm all for it and having fair share. But a lot of men are supporting the WNBA right now instead of women. Women not buying season tickets, they're not buying season passes, jerseys. So put your money where your mouth is, right? And yes, the WNBA just started to gain traction, unlike um, the NBA, which has been basically funding the WNBA. And they will start to get paid soon as more stars like Kaylin and Angel Reese come into the limelight family. And the average viewership I want to share with you is in 2023, the NBA regular season, the average viewership was 1.6 million. Playoffs was 5.47 million. The finals was 11.7 million. And then the average viewership in 2023 when it came to the WNBA regular season was 505,000. In playoffs, it was 400,000. And finals, 728,000. Thousand, So as a league, the NBA does those numbers, but one person, such as Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever team, is doing this, um, you know, record-breaking numbers when it comes to the average numbers from the WNBA in the 2023, you know, or, or I should say doing a phenomenal job and turning things around to even go in the direction of having those numbers in 2023 when it comes to the average viewership with the WNBA and higher. And Caden Clark is doing extraordinary numbers. So until this year, Caden Clark's arrival, the WNBA has never come close to turning a profit. And the salaries the WNBA players receive is due to mostly the NBA subsidizing the league, their league. But change is coming, like I say, positively. Caitlin is going to make, them, make all the players rich. Salaries will go up in endorsements too. So that's all I have to say, family. Let me know you guys' insights down in the comments. On that note, family, spread that peace, love, and positivity. Peace, family.